Welcome to JSON serialization and deserialization once again. This time I have not received any complaint, but this time I have received an interesting user request where, you know, if you remember in the past or if you remember this video, we have done the serialization and deserialization based on a concrete class. So this time user is telling me they don't want to use any concrete class. What they want is they want to serialize the dynamic object, which is pretty fun isn't it and it's quite easy it's not that big deal right so we're gonna start now so first of all uh, I want you to go to the json.codeplex.com from there you download you know this DLL it will give you a zip file and once you run the extract you will have the folder structure like this then you need to go into the bin folder and either you can pick 4.0 I mean on your framework version you can work but I will force you to work higher than you know higher than or equal to 4.0 because we the dynamic object this thing came actually into the 4.0 version so it's not gonna work in 3.5 and 2.0 so at least you should be in the 4.0 version so that's why I'm in Visual Studio 2012 and framework 4.0 okay so what I've done is once I I ran the extract I got these DLLs alright so I got them and then I simply pasted them in my project and this is nothing but a console project console application in which I've created a lib folder and within that I've pasted these three things after that I have added a reference of this Newton's of DLL right here <coughs> And once that part was done, basically I had the Newton soft. Now it's time for me to code. So I'll open up the program.cs. <coughs> and now let's go back to the requirement which says, where is it? <coughs> which says to serialize the dynamic object. They don't want to create any classes, right? So if I want to create a dynamic object in C hash, then this is the best deal for me you know the expando object so using which I can create a dynamic object now the fun part over here is I can you know create any property on the fly I want right like name skills test or let's comment this guy for a while alright and just commenting out and you can see you know I can create any property what I want right and I have this respected values now once this object is ready we are gonna go to you know JSON convert dot serialize object which is expecting an object and this is the object where we done some set and now we are throwing this object into this method so once I throw this object into this method the result is going to be a JSON string so let me run this thing pretty quick <coughs> and you can see I have a perfect JSON you know output this is the name and this is a value so it's like a key value pair pattern so it's a proper JSON so which is pretty cool so we are done with the serialization so now I'm going to comment the output part and now we move on to the serial deserialization part so in deserialization you know that JSON convert dot deserialize object is a method which is expecting an object back so we are saying hey I want the expand object back and here's your JSON string which I have just created right here so again uh, in practical you can think of a scenario that like you know on Facebook Twitter you're receiving some JSON some dynamics some anonymous so in that case you know you can use this one right and we are using the new expando converter right using which it helps to convert your JSON string into this object and in the end uh, whatever data will come we will collect into this object right so this is how you do the deserialization the concept remains the same throughout the only new addition is you know it expects one more parameter which is a converter which will help us to deserialize and next I'm gonna uncomment this thing so control KU and let me build this thing so let me recap this is the dynamic object we are serializing here we have the JSON string here and now we are passing that JSON string to our deserialized object <coughs> and in return we are going to get our dynamic object back and the same thing we are going to print you know over here and this everything happens at runtime right so let's build this thing so you can see you know uh, once I pass the JSON string right here 
right I got the object back and when I iterate I mean I uh, you know walk through the object like try to access the properties like name and skills it gives me a perfect values so this is the JSON serialization deserialization of a dynamic object so which is pretty cool so we are done here now the the you know uh, there's one more thing uh, the use of expand objects is not only to create you know the simple objects right so what I've done over here is I have created you know the hierarch uh, hierarchical object so I'm saying within the object I have one more children and within that children I have few more properties so let's see how the JSON uh, I'm sorry the JSON.NET handles this part so I'm gonna comment the serialization the serialization part for a while so you will see uh, you know how it works in action so this is beautiful because this is a same thing but you can see a new you know the records created right here and within that they have their own children right so you're getting my point right so you can using the expander you can create this and you can serialize so Jason uh, .NET is pretty cool that he can you know uh, serialize the complex complex objects as well right now let's move on to the deserialization part right and let me open this up control K U oops what I missed I'm sorry yep and we are gonna you know check these guys as well so control K U control K D control build and now let's let it print no problem so this is the serialization part and this is the deserialization and you can see you know it brings everything back so this is pretty cool right so in serialization only thing to remember is pass in your dynamic object and deserialization the concept remains the same you will say I want the expand object back because it's a dynamic you will pass in the JSON string right here and you will use the converter you know to deserialize it back so this is the JSON serialization and deserialization but again we are not done here so I have created one more project again it's a console and I've done the same thing it has the lib folder and we have the Newton soft right here okay and in program.cs we are dealing with the list now so again <coughs> what am I doing over here I'm creating a list of the expando objects right so and after that I'm creating three dynamic objects and they have some properties and they have some values and then I'm adding these objects into my list which is an object so it's just right here and now without thinking I'm gonna use the serialized object of JSON convert right and I'm gonna pass in the list this list over here and let's see what it does right so let me run this thing I'm sorry I made a mistake console dot reline now I, or I would have done you know control F5 as well but I like this more so let's see so you can see you know the list the array this is the JSON array where you can see uh, you know it begins from here and it ends here I'm sorry uh, I cannot you know move my things and I can show you you know you know but you understand the jigsaw here the spider-man is a new object me myself and not Irene as a third object right so we have the proper JSON array okay so we are capable of uh, serializing the list as well now the time for us to deserialize it so let's do that and okay so let's check this thing out so again the method remains the same json convert dot deserialize object and I need to specify what I'm expecting back so actually I'm expecting back a list of expando object which I had created over here and this is the JSON string so which I'm passing in here and this guy is helping me to you know convert this whole thing back into the you know uh, the list of expando object right here and once I have uh, the results I'm gonna iterate and I'm gonna simply print right so let's run this thing and you can see indeed the jigsaw does a good job spider-man does a good job and I do what I do right so now we have done the serialization and deserialization of the dynamic object and dynamic object list right so this is pretty cool uh, but uh, one thing I want 
wanted to point out here is very important now you might be assuming that this result object is a kind of object I can simply tie to my you know grid view which I did you know in the last demo but it's not the case here if you look at the structure of this expand object it's nothing but it's a dictionary of you know a string and an object right so that's what I'm getting back from this whole thing right so I cannot directly bind that to a grid okay so there's there's a way out in order to do that but I'll be giving you that as a homework alright so in case if you run into any trouble then let me know but at present I don't find that method as you know pretty awesome because once I have the results then I'm iterating through I'm putting something back into the list and then I'm attaching to my grid it's gonna take some time so I'm still looking for you know some concrete solution and at the very same time I'm you know requesting you all of you guys that if you find anything you know cool like you know once you have the decentralized list and you can directly bind to the you know the grid view then please let me know via comments right here alright that will help me and that will help others as well alright so we are done here and oh one more thing I forgot to mention uh, please check out the documentation which is pretty cool but that will help you like you know how to do uh, many more things which is right here and I, I have again you know kept the use of the expand view object what it does right okay so I hope this video helps and if it does then guys uh, please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up like you have done right here which is pretty awesome and well thank you for your time on this good night and take care